Okay, yes. Yes, Miss Tan. Uh, I, I will get it done. Okay. Presentation? Tomorrow? Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, bye. Aileen, what's up? Hi, what? Uh, the other day you said something about the online registration system for Primary One, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's called Primary One Internet System, and it's also open for Phase Two C and Two C supplementary as well. You know, it's very convenient. You should register online. Actually, I was planning to take leave to go to register at the school, but there's so much work. My Sarah should be eligible for the online registration, right? Is her birth registered in Singapore? Does she hold a Singapore issued birth cert? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, and then are you and your husband both uh, Singapore citizens or PR during her birth? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, both of you should have a SingPass account with the 2FA setup. Uh huh. Then you can register online. All you have to do is just fill up the details and confirm that it's all correct. At most, it's going to take you like 5 to 10 minutes only. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why do we need the sync pass of both parents? Ah, both of you have to log in in turns. One have to fill in and actually verify the information. And then the other one will have to follow up to confirm and complete the registration. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, how do I know if the registration is submitted successfully? Okay. For that, you have to make sure that you can see the acknowledgement page that confirms your registration has been submitted. Okay. Ah, one more thing, Aileen. You can actually go to the MOE Primary One Registration website if you need more information. Okay, I'll go try. Thank you, Awad. Bye. Ready for lunch? Mm -hmm. Who was that? That's Awad. I was asking him about the P1 online registration. There's so much work. I can't even go to the school to register. Online registration does sound more convenient. It is. And since it can be done so quickly, I can log in multiple times to register for additional schools. Just in case. Uh, you can't do that. Every child can just register with one school. Huh. In that case, I better skip lunch to register online now. My Sarah needs to go to Blossom Primary School. Uh, what's the rush? Registration is not on a first-come, first-served basis. And also, uh, no need to be fixated on one school. Keep an open mind. It's not first-come, first-served? Okay, well... If there's no rush, then I'll register at a convenient time when the registration opens then. Hmm. Anyway, Sarah is a Singapore citizen, right? And she has priority over permanent residents. And your home is also within one kilometre of the school. So if there's more registrants than vacancies, Sarah will have priority admission. So what if there's more Singapore citizens than the vacancies available? Then, home school distance will be considered. So those things within one kilometre of the school will be admitted first, followed by those within one to two kilometres. And finally, those outside two kilometres. Uh, just remember in this case, you have to stay at your registered address for at least 30 months. 30 months starting from? Starting from commencement of registration exercise. So that means if there's more registrants than vacancies and Sarah is admitted based on distance priority, then we have to stay at the registered address for at least 30 months from the commencement of the exercise. Girl, you are spot on! <laughs> oh, look at the time. Shall we go for lunch? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's go. 